Hello guys, so it is a national assembly of El Salvador behind me. It is a place where history happened and Bitcoin law was implemented right here. We spoke with the deputy who took part in the implementation of Bitcoin as a legal tender here in El Salvador. We spoke with the vice president of El Salvador and he showed us how he uh, holds Bitcoin and so on. These guys are making history here in this beautiful country and there are a lot of opportunities for Bitcoin people around the world to come here and to operate this crypto. We will share a lot of interesting insights from these interviews, uh, from meetings with uh, different people from government and that will be definitely interesting for all of you. So stay in touch guys. I heard about Bitcoin a couple of years ago. A friend of mine came and he was talking about, you know, there is this cryptocurrency and this is something that you can invest and it's very sure. And I said, but how could you invest in something that it doesn't exist? I, I cannot see it. This is not back supported by any government or central bank. And he said, this is the key of the, of the, of the issue, that it is more a community approach and the guarantee is that we are based on the blockchain. And I, that was the first time also that I heard about blockchain. So he he's tried to explain it because it was hard for me to understand. Uh, as you can see, I am a baby boomer. So that means that my generation wasn't used to, 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 to use the, 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 the technologies and all this stuff. But now, uh, a couple of years later, is becoming the most popular not only among the new generations, but people, common people, even in my country. Now it's becoming kind of part of the popular culture or the daily activities of the common people because you now can pay medicine in the drugstore, you can buy a hamburger in a restaurant, or you can fill your, your car in a gas station and pay with Bitcoin. So now I think El Salvador is becoming uh, the first country that the population at the large is not only willing, but is also uh, available to use the Bitcoin as a way to make business, to trade, and to do any daily activities in their lives. You mentioned the you mentioned Chivo Moda. Uh, do you use it personally? What is your opinion about it? Well, actually, I have it. Uh, let me show you. Press my telephone. That could, could you cut this? I will show you because this is good. Okay. Here is my Shiba wallet. And as you see, I have here the Bitcoin, the balance I have, and I have here the US dollars. Those are the 30 dollars that they give to every single Salvadorian. But I add some money, and now uh, we can see. Uh, there are the applications that here you can make, you know, the conversion going to the from dollars to Bitcoin or all the way around. So it is it's easy now to present it. Uh, people can here I can receive from here I can send money using this Chivo wallet. Guys, so now we are here in, in a parliament of El Salvador and it is exactly how decisions are taken here in this beautiful country. Just four months ago, exactly in this place, Bitcoin was legalized as a legal tender here. And now we are experiencing this beautiful life, paying with crypto everywhere here. Right now, a very good uh, friend of us, William Soriano, is speaking and very soon we are going to see how the discussions here are, are happening between the party of power of Naib Bukele, uh, between them and the opposition. 2017 when our president Najib Bukele tweeted about making Bitcoin a legal tender when he was not even president. Now, he chose and he decided to actually make it a legal tender this year. And he sent the bill, the project, to the Congress 
I'm part of the financial financial committee that received the bill. We approved it, and then we had to pass it to the whole Congress so that we can actually vote for it. Only one million people have access to a bank account. And that's a real situation that you have to face. Through this decision, through the Bitcoin law, in two months, we were able to actually um, allow three million people to access to the wallet, to be financially included. But that's not only the good thing. We also allowed it to receive remittances from the United States and any other countries. And that's quite a big step. Before, only 30% of, of, of Salvadorans had access um, to a bank account. Right now, 80% of Salvadorans have access to the Chivo Wallet. And with the Chivo Wallet, we know the goal is that the Salvadorian family, they are not going to pay that transaction that, you know, sometimes is 10%, 15%, it depends on the company that they use to send remittances and through the Chivo wallet it's a zero, zero cost. So imagine around 400 or 700 million dollars are being left in the Salvadorian family pocket. So you know it's a big deal. We're talking about for example, around the 35 million uh, remittances that we received in the, these couple of weeks, last weeks. We know we still have um, many more steps to, to actually go, but we have a clear vision. What are we trying to achieve in our country? And that's actually part of the process of people learning how to use the wallet, right? That's a whole process. It's going to take some time. Specifically, our president has taken his time to deliver speeches to the whole country, teaching them personally on national television how to use the wallet, what are the pros and cons. But I believe um, in three months we already achieved a lot. It took us like four months to orange build everybody. So that's fast, right? That's really fast. We demonstrated that Bitcoin could do a lot of good things. Since we're building 20 Bitcoin schools, which will be full of, you know, technology and everything, but also the economical education of the future. So we're building a pet hospital. We announced it like in first days of October. We start building it in the last days of October. And now we're doing th uh, th the third floor. And I asked, why are you finishing that thing? I said, 60 days, Mr. President. I said, yeah, that's fast. El Salvador is fast. Which country in the world will announce one thing one day, start construction four weeks later, and finish it 60 days later? El Salvador, that's right. That's the vision of President Nayib Bukele. He's young, he's smart, he's brave. And he's, you know, he works 24 7, as we do, uh, because if we need to change this country. I think we're the first country of uh, making Bitcoin as a legal tender besides the dollar. And you know, this is because he has a, a different perspective. He's a millennial. So he understands the new generation and he understands the need of our people, of, of our country. The investors, they have to feel safe because we have a lot of companies around the world that they're very successful here and our workforce are the best in the world. We are going only to use one document, our national ID, do it, and they remove another one. So they're implementing a lot of technology to have more modern government, more digital government. All right, so yesterday I was talking to these Guatemalan investors and they told me, the very first moment that you guys approved the Bitcoin law in the Congress, next day, 5 a.m., we were here in El Salvador. 8 a.m., we began our paperwork to establish a company and establish an exchange here in El Salvador. And I think that's a very good opportunity. We're all learning every single day with the crypto experience. And our goal, I'm sure, is to actually improve it day by day and make it easier for people like like those Guatemalans or you 
to stay here or actually to be part of El Salvador's economy. I think we're showing to the world how beautiful our country is, uh, how powerful our people, you know, is and how we're implementing the Bitcoin law in our country that you can go and buy simple stuff, you know, in the supermarket, to buy hamburgers from McDonald's, a coffee from Starbucks and from our local uh, shops like uh, coffee places and much more. So in El Salvador, the implementation of the Bitcoin law is you know, very successful right now and I think each day is gonna be better.